chance time in Mario Party Superstars gives you a fair amount of control over the roles. There's enough to consistently enrich the user, but there will always be a slot that's up in the air. The character dice always starts with the face of the character that landed on the space, and it rotates between characters in the turn order. The middle die always starts on three coins right and rotates between the following options in the following order. Three coins right, one star left, 30 coins right, swap coins, 20 coins right, one star right, three coins left, 30 coins left, swap stars, 20 coins left, and swap everything before going back to three coins right. When hitting the first die, you should press A when it's one rotation before what you want, with that choice in the center. For example, if you want to swap coins, jump when 30 coins right is showing. This input's very lenient. Also, because you start in the middle and it always starts on three coins right, mashing A as it's starting will always select one star left, which is always a good choice if everyone has at least one star. When hitting the second die, you should press A when it's two rotations before what you want, and that choice showing on the bottom third, about to roll off screen. For example, if the character order is Donkey Kong, Luigi, Mario, and Peach, and you want to select Donkey Kong, jump when only the top of Mario's hat is visible. This input is a little tight, but still consistent with a bit of practice. When hitting the third die, I don't have a consistent tactic here. As a result, it's in your best interest to use the first two rolls to make it consistently beneficial. Also, while I don't show it here, in local play, players that go first and second in the turn order can open their sticker menu to block some of the left and right dice.